he did tell me multiple times that he believed Diane was going to die and that we would be married. And at one time he did tell me, you could be Lukey's mom. I'm 14. I ended up going away to college, private school in Tennessee. In 1987, the fall of 1987, I called him and told him that I was going to marry Jeff when I graduated. The struggle had been the prophetic foresight that Diane was going to die and I was going to marry him. That was messing with me all through college. But also all of the seeds that he had sown about celibacy, like it was something higher, better, more spiritual. And he had given me all the books about the celibate. I had that wrestle in my heart. Am I missing out? Am I selling out if I'm not celibate? Or am I supposed to wait and marry this guy? But I'm drawn to this man here, to Jeff. And so I have this about three-year wrestle of all those dynamics that I believe the Lord confirmed in kindness to me. And I could tell Mike, I'm going to marry this guy. He said, I'm not coming to the wedding. It would be way too painful. I'm not going to do the wedding. Diane and the boys did end up coming. But he called me on the morning of my wedding to bless me and ended up sobbing on the phone which just flooded me with that wave of guilt, confusion. What am I doing? On a morning that I should just be absolutely filled with joy and anticipation and gratitude, I'm wrestling. Did I make the wrong decision? I'm disobeying God, all of that. I got married 